So I'm Jacqueline Pissarra with Hollywood Junket. Joining us is T3. They're killing it on America's Got Talent. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Yeah. So um, what are your guys' musical backgrounds? Uh, good question. We all kind of come from, from different areas. Um, we are all kind of involved in theater, so, so there's a lot of that in everything that we do. But individually, individually, we all came from different places. Like, I really loved pop punk music growing up. Um, I still kind of do. I never really grew out of it. Um, and then I, I kind of branched out into more poppy and kind of a little bit of everything now. But yeah, I came more from like a rock uh, influence. I did. I grew up singing classic rock mostly, uh, and then I got introduced to musical theater when I was in um, high school and then kind of started doing that. But uh, still, that's where my heart lies, definitely in like classic rock. And yeah, that's what I like to do. Yeah, I, ha I had some similarities from Brendan. My my first love was Billy Joel because he was piano rock and I played piano growing up. I, I still do. Uh, so that expanded into like a Ben Folds and a Sarah Bareilles and, and people who can rock out behind a piano. That's definitely how I got my start. And, and now we do what we do, which is cool. I love Billy Joel. What is one of your favorite Billy Joel songs? Oh, scenes from an Italian restaurant. No doubt. That's the one. He still sells out Madison Square Garden like once a month. As he should. He <laughs> I want to go. I want yeah, to go I've, so bad. I've, I've seen him three times, but never there. And that's that's the that's the dream for sure. So how did you decide on this particular song for um, your performance and what are like some songs that you guys really enjoy performing together. So that particular song, Into the Unknown, uh, from Frozen, was the first song that we actually ever sang together. So uh, I reached out to uh, Liam and Jim in a DM on Instagram, or maybe it was Facebook or one of those. But I DM'd them and I said, do you guys want to come over and sing at my house? And it was right as the as the Frozen Two movie had just came out, and that movie that movie was super popular, and that song in particular was very popular. So we decided to sing it, and that was the first song we ever sang, and we we felt it would be right to to sing that song for our audition. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's an awesome song too. I love especially the Panic of the Disco version. It's so it's so rocking. We love it. Sure. So. You guys have been singing together for like about 14 months. How did you, uh, in my eyes, you know, that seems like a short period of time. So how did you create this amazing act during the pandemic? Well, I mean, it definitely had its challenges. I mean, we, so Brendan, when he, when we uh, made the first video into the unknown, that was in late January of 2020. And we, uh, after the success of that video, we just kind of decided week by week, let's just make another cover and just kind of see what happens. So we were able to get out nine in-person videos together before mm. one per week, before the world shut down, before New York shut down. Um, and we kind of were faced with this moment that was like, do we want to keep doing this? Is there a point to continuing to do this? And so we learned how to do it virtually. Um, we each, uh, would record ourselves, uh, not too dissimilar from what we're doing right now, kind of on our computers or on our phones, singing various parts of arrangements and then through the computer, stacking them on top of each other, uh, compiling videos and three different audio channels on top of each other to create like a product. And so we did that all through the pandemic um, until we kind of joined each other's bubble. What was that like late July or maybe August uh, of 2020? Something like that. What does the T in T3 stand for? That's a good question. And <laughs> there's kind of an answer, but it can kind of be whatever you want it to be, really. Yeah. Um, they, there's, we're all tenors, uh, so then there's three of us. Um, we got our start with that big first video on TikTok. So TikTok tenors. Um, there's, I... I like to think of it just something with random T letter words every time I think of it. It's whatever you want it to be. Any acronym that you decide. <laughs> but we, yeah, we definitely did get coined as like the TikTok tenors. Uh, and so we just kind of decided to 
smash that into a T3, uh, you know, the three tenors, uh, TikTok tenors, whatever. Yeah, it just kind of works that way. <laughs> so do you, like, is TikTok one of your favorite social media platforms right now? Definitely. Yeah, I mean, you know, we 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 put up our, our stuff everywhere, but uh, you know, we definitely uh, got our. I I think it's pretty easy to say we got our start on TikTok. We put that video up into the unknown, and within like two days, it had like four million hits. So we you know we've been we've been on that platform ever since, and uh, of course, we've expanded into the others as well. I love TikTok. There's so much stuff you can discover on there. You can get lost. Yeah, it's so fun. <laughs> yeah, they're super creative. Um, okay, so Simon, what was it like facing Simon? You know, he's kind of a lion. <laughs> some people, some people, as far as singer goes, you know, he's probably intimidating. But what was it like auditioning in front of him? It was scary. scary. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was, was extremely scary. terrifying. Uh, but also, like first of all just scary because like you've seen like what they they make him look like on tv which is like kind of grumpy and like very <laughs> critical but like and also just the, the added knowing all of the the stuff in pop culture that he's responsible for for putting together like one direction and spice girls and like all this incredible stuff like that's another level of like oh my gosh i'm in front of this guy and then he was like the coolest nicest most complimentary chillest guy it was awesome <laughs> yeah it was it, it, it was a great experience uh definitely nerve-wracking but at the end of the day it was just really really great <laughs> well i think if you genuinely have a lot of talent simon is warm and fuzzy to you he's only mean to people who think that they have a lot of talent but they don't that's what i feel like <laughs> <laughs> well if that's true thank you very much Simon. yeah <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how I, he's just honest. I don't know, sometimes Americans are scared. I don't know, we get a little nervous of someone who's pretty honest. True. Sure. It's the accent too, <laughs> scary accent. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the number one thing you want viewers to take away from your America's Got Talent performance? Uh, hope you had a good time. Uh, we did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And like uh, we'd love to we'd love to see you again, really. Yeah. Just like come along, join, join, join our little T3 journey that we're on. We're we put out a video every week. We're we're trying to do shows everywhere that we can. And if you liked it, hop on board. There's room. We're we're here to party. Yeah, we are. <laughs> it's true. Um so what what can uh, like we expect from you as far as in the in the judge cut rounds and what could viewers and you know judges be expecting from you in future performances? That's a good question. Uh, it's actually a, a question we we don't have an answer for at the moment, sadly. Yeah, we we still haven't heard about judge cuts, so we're just as curious as everyone else is about if we're going to move forward. So, but uh, if we move forward, we definitely have uh, some ideas of what we would want to sing uh, in the next round. So, we're uh, we're hoping, and if not, you know, come check out our social medias. We'll still be pay posting content, you know. <laughs> so, if you guys win America's Got Talent, you get the million dollars. What do you plan on doing with the money? I think there's a lot that can be done with the money, but at the end of the day, I mean, however it gets split up, we, I view it as just an investment in who T3 can be going forward. You know, we all live in New York City where the rent is, or at least I haven't checked it recently, but was the second most expensive in the country. We just want to be able to do this full time without having to work, focus on anything else. Uh, you know, we want this to be the job. We want to tour. We want to make the album and, you know, all that stuff. So that's exactly what that money would help us do, I think. Excellent. And that's definitely going to happen for you. It's Thank definitely. You. Well, You're we'll welcome. see. You said it, Jacqueline. <laughs> <laughs> it will. Well, thank you so much for joining um, Hollywood Junket. This has been T3. Can you give us your social media handles? Absolutely. We're at T.3official 
on all your social media platforms with the, with the exception of Twitter. Twitter doesn't let you do a dot, so we're T underscore three <laughs> official. And viewers, don't forget to follow Hollywood Junket on all social media and I'm Jaco Pissarro on everything. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so Thanks, much for y'all. having us. This was a blast. Thanks for having us. Yes, have a wonderful day. You too. Thanks, you too. Bye. Bye.